Okay, so we're in the middle of humility, chapter 22, 22 in the Silas Yishari, right? Okay, so if I remember correctly, we've been we've learned in a while. But, uh, so we wanted to know what exactly is mm -hmm. the Mila of Anova? What exactly is the benefit of Anova, of humility? Mm -hmm. And so, again, he explained what humility is, and we had a hard time relating to the whole idea, because it seems to, you know, seems to take a very strong stance on what humility is, stronger than maybe I, I originally thought, which is that, you know, complete nothing. Complete nothing. You know, again, I'm not sure, I'm fighting with this idea, whether there is... Where there, where there, there is something left, and we'll come back to it. But but right now, I'm going to take it as a, the null hypothesis is that his version of Anova is complete nothing. Okay? All is, all is, all is from Hashem. Okay. All is from Hashem. Um, so we'll come back to that. So, right, and he tells us that Anova is divided into two parts, Machshova and Maisa. Okay? And right, you have to be first, mach, uh, you have to have Anova in your thought. And then you're going to have ANOVA in your actions. Okay? And now, then he went through what exactly you're supposed to think with ANOVA MACHSHOVA. And he says, right, he says uh, ANOVA MACHSHOVA, so this is on page 440, whatever he says, um, he says, ANOVA MACHSHOVA, a person has to contemplate and has to internalize, it has to be truthful by him. Asher, ain't at COVID RUIMLOI, that no praise or honor is appropriate for him. Okay, Kol Shikane, certainly not his Nase al Sharbne Minoy. Certainly he should not, um, what's the word, raise himself above his species. Okay, why not? But he says because, either, because you're lacking something, right? And even if you don't, are not lacking something, he says, uh, even the thing that you have is still limited. So either you're going to have some chesroinus, either meaning you have some milas, let's say. But those milas are limited. And, and besides those milas, you have tons of other chesroinus. You have ton, tons of other chesroinus. So that you have no reason, you have no reason to, um, to, to be praised for anything. You have no reason to be praised for anything. Right? And so he, get, he says... Okay, so again, we'll pause for a second. We'll come back to this. Then we f fast forward it towards the end, right? Towards the end, where he discusses the end of the chapter, right? So he goes through, after he, this chapter, he goes through all the different ways that uh, ANOVA emanates as an action. He sums up, so you see... Right? He says, That Anova uh, removes from a person various stumbling blocks. And brings him towards some goods. Right? And he says, why? Because the, a humble person doesn't care too much for the ways of the world. He's not going to be jealous of others in their nonsense, you know. A Ferrari is it's all the same to him. It doesn't make a difference if somebody else has a Ferrari, right? He has good friends and people like him because he's, he's, he's pleasant to deal with. He's not going to have anger. He's not going to have fighting. He's going to be peaceful, pleasant human being. Mm -hmm. So, praiseworthy is somebody who's zoiche to this midah, right? That's it. But, okay, I mean, it's nice, it's very nice it's that ANOVA prevents you from some mechshoilis. Mm -hmm. It's very nice that you become a very pleasant person. It's very nice that you definitely um, are less prone to be, to have taiva and, and, and gaiva and all these things, right? But is there something essential benefit that you get from being an ANOV? I don't see him saying, as mm -hmm. an ANOV, you... Boom, you, you get this. So, could be, again, for just for, for um, contrast. I don't know, right? Just for contrast. So, there is a safer, I mean, this is, this is not a complete, there's a safer quote, this is an English Musser stories based, but the, we have another one somewhere, I don't know. This is Toymer Dvaira, right? Toymer Dvaira, 
means the palm, the palm tree of, of Dvoira, mm -hmm. right? Which was written by the, the Ramak, or Moshe Kordavera, which is very like, it's basically a Musar Sefer based on Kabbalah, right? So the idea is you take the spheroids, mm -hmm. right? So he starts out, for example, he says over here in the introduction, this is a beautiful, again, it's a beautiful idea. He says, uh, right, Hagdama, right? How Odom Roish is Dama Lekoina. That a, a, a person needs to um, needs to become similar, right? Needs to emulate his creator, mm -hmm. right? Then he will uh, will be. Um, can I don't know, translate this? The secret. You know, the, he will be in the secret of the supernal form. Form, okay? Meaning he'll uh, he'll then match the the tzura This mm -hmm. you know the the above tzura. Tselem Udmus, meaning he will be in the image of God, of Hashem. Even though, again, it's going to say, even though he's created in the image of God, but there's a higher image of God. And if a person doesn't, doesn't <laughs> match the image for which he's destined to, mm -hmm. then he's, he's like a, a bad copy. He's not a very good reflection of the Tselem Lakim that he was destined to. Right? The, the Esser spheres, the Ten spheres, according mm -hmm. to the Ramak, is the picture of the complete perfect man, right? And so if a person wants to reach Hashem, right? Right? So he needs to become as much as possible be mizdame. And he says so so he says he says Sha'ilu Yiduma Bagufoy, because his body is already kind of in the Telemalakim, but but not in his actions, but his actions do not reflect this this law of the Telemalakim. Then he he falsifies the tura, the image that he was created in. The Yomir love, and people will say about him, tura no, his his form is beautiful, umasin kurim, but his actions are ugly, right? Sharei ikar hatzelim vaadmusa elyon hempu uloisim, because the 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 main way you become similar to the tzelim alakim is through your actions, right? Who cares if he was created in his body in the image of, of God? But his actions do not emulate his creator. Right? So therefore, he says, if you want to be like Hashem, you have to take this Midois, the, the 10 series, they represent different Midois, and you need to internalize them and and and. Be basically, right, like we say, you, you walk in Hashem's way, that you have to follow follow His way. And then he goes through the whole Sefer, he goes through each one of how you're supposed to emulate the ways of Hashem, and therefore you will then become tel Telemelechim. Right? Again, is it similar to this idea? Yes. It just Ramchal is not using this Kabbalistic mm -hmm. language. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I mean, I mean, they're very different, but I'm just saying they're both talking about you know, how do you get to this Kedusha where you're going to be this Tzalem That's what I mean. <coughs> Dis discussing different pathways, but in that sense that they're in, in, envisioning that end result, that end goal, it's similar. Okay? So, then he tells you, so the first Mido is Kesser. Whatever, again, whatever, I don't know these things, but whatever these things mean, Kesser is crown, so you have to be like Hashem in this highest crown. So he goes through the first, in the first chapter, which is the only, so the only thing that's in this, version of it, is the, the 13 Midas Rachamim, and actually the way they're phrased in the Pesach of Mikmiel um, Kamoicha, right, that we say by Tashlech, mm -hmm. right, that's that's really also <laughs> another version of 13 Yugimil Midas Rachamim. And then in the second ch chapter, he says, right, so over there he says, Mikmiel Kamoicha, that you you are, um, that Hashem has so much patience, people do a various, and Hashem is still, has, you know, rach, is Rachamim for them, Hashem, they, they do a various, and who gives them the energy to do those a various? Hashem still gives them, you know, Hashem still takes care of them and feeds them and clothes them, and even though, right? So he's he's taking on all so, so much public embarrassment, so to speak, but not, but that's that's his patience, that's his, you know, with his mm -hmm. creations. Okay, so then he continues in Perak Beis. He says, um, If a person further wants to be similar. To his creator in the secret of the Midah Kesser, so he has to in, incorporate certain pu'ulay, certain actions which are essential to this to this anhaga, right? 
So Harishoina, what's the first one? That's in, that incorporates everything. He midas ha'anova. Right? That's the Mida of Anova. So the first thing, if you want to be similar to Hashem, the first thing, the first thing, again, he's, he's looking from top bottom, so from the Kesar, the highest mm -hmm. level, if you want to reach those highest Madrigas, the first thing is Mida Sa'anova. Because the Mida Sa'anova is Tuluya Bekesar, in the crown. Sharehi Mida al Kol Hamidas, because it's a Mida that's above all other Midas. Ve'ena Mis'alis, Mis'goy Lamayla, and it doesn't this Mida of Kesser, meaning Rabbi Hashem, is the highest Mida. Not that Anova is the highest Mida, I'm sorry, the Kesser is the highest Mida. And therefore, and it doesn't, um, and it's, it's, it's full of Anova, right? Because it has, it, it's the Mida that's closest to the Ein Sof, to the infinity of Ashkodesh Baruch Hu. And so it, it, it is unable to, <coughs> right? It is unable to even kind of lift its head, to even think of, Raising its head because it's like it's it sees that that difference, right? The the ena misalis um is goyel lemaila. I'm the meyeredas um is takelas lemata todir. It's always downward looking, not upward looking. V'zemishnei tamim ha'echad shu boishli stakel b'sibosay because the kesser is too embarrassed to look at its source, right? Ela matzile mabid boy tomid. Okay, these again, these are starting Kabbalistic kind of language. So he says, A person should be bashful to, to peer, um, to, 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 to peer um, over, over his head, so to speak. To be, to be Balgaiva. He should lower himself as much as possible. Right, so again, my we can read more. I mean, it's a beautiful thing here, but all I'm saying is that that there is a certain positive aspect of midas hanova here, in that sense that it makes you similar to Hakadosh Baruch Hu in the mida of keser, and so then you could be zoycha to those highest levels and to cling to Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Meaning, there's a, there's a you're opening up a window or you're opening up a, a doorway for HaKadosh Baruch Hu's connection to occur. You know, there's a positive aspect here. That's what I, that's what I, that's what I'm seeing here, right? Mashenkin and the Ramchal, it's almost, uh, you know, he just takes it on that it's a good thing, but he doesn't really explain what it is. Yeah, am I wrong? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um. That's what I see. It's it's possible, again, possible maybe, again, let me ask you the question. Is Anova just a complete lack of Gaiva? And that's just, I mean, right? I mean, just, is that given? That Anova means zero Gaiva? Or there is, Something else. or is there is zero Gaiva and then there is Anova? Mm -hmm. Right? I must mean, meaning, I understand that there is levels of gaiva. And at some point you could say, well, this gaiva is so little that it is not, we wouldn't consider it gaiva. Because gaiva is generally, what's the word, measured relative to others. Right? We see some people are really ba bali gaiva. Why? How, well, how do we recognize them as being bali gaiva? Because in comparison to the people that we know, this guy is, 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 is a selfish, narcissistic type of a dude, right? But but that's that's just because we don't have like a good scale to measure things. But if we were really to to knit, to, to drill down, we would know that the opposite of anova is gaiva, and the opposite of gaiva is anova. And if there is not one, there is the other. It's just it's it's, it's an, right. I'm assuming that's mm -hmm. that's what it is. That's what that's what it is. So that's that's what I'm assuming. So now, <clears throat> so so if that is so. He's uh, back in Nikias. Get him back, back in Nikias. Right, right. Get, get the counterpoint to that is right because you know in Nikias we got rid of Gaivas, so to speak, and now all of a sudden we have another chapter of Anova. That means that even though in Nikias we cleansed ourselves of Gaiva, there is still clearly 
not Anova yet. Right? So there's levels. Anova is continu is a continuous progression, even past Nikki. So maybe there's a level of, okay, we got rid of, like I said, maybe we got rid of Gaiva to the level of, what's the word, basic, basically accepted human level. But deep down, there is still, there is still some Gaiva left. Or, you know, maybe there's something in between. Uh, I'm not, a, I can't say I'm 100% sure, but, okay. Um, anyways, but he says over here, an interesting um, line, right? So again, if you remember from, from, from Nikias, he goes through different examples of Balai Gad, right? Mm -hmm. he, in Nikias, he says, until now we spoke about different Nikias and Mitzvahs. Now we're going to talk about Midas, and the first Mida is Gaiva. And then he gives you four different, mm -hmm. or five different, remember, mm -hmm. examples of weird expressions of right, Gaiva. Right, right. Weird expressions of Gaiva. Mm -hmm. Gaiva can express itself in, in weird ways, um, opposite ways. And then he says the following line. Well, Kulam, right? So it says, Kul, can we read the whole paragraph just because it's nice? Kol Eila told us a Gaiva. These are all expressions of Gaiva. Hamashivo Hachomim Achor that pulls the um, sages backwards. Vedaitam Misakelis and makes their mind uh, thick. Mesira Lev Roshi Hachochma removes the heart of the, the you know, the, the highest sages. And even student, there are students, Shuloshim Shukoltorkam, that barely learned anything, right? As soon as their eyes open up, they always they already think of themselves as if they are sages of sages. And regarding all of them, it says that any gaiva is an abomination of Hashem. Right? So again, so uh, Gaiva is a problem, right? Gaiva is a problem. So much so it's a problem that it's a toyva sashem. It's a toyva. It's an abomination. Okay? Umikulam tzorich sheyinaki haroitz minas nikias. And you got to remove, if you want to be zoicha to nikias, you got to remove all aspects of Gaiva. So far so good? Mm. But but that is the, the key line. Vyeida vyoven. No one understand. Ki ein ha Gaiva ela ivaroin man. No one understand that Gaiva is pure blindness okay mm -hmm. gaiva is pure blindness asher ein seichel odem roich hisreinoisim because a, a seichel of a person does not see his hisreinoisim his, his, his uh, uh, limitations his lackings umakir pchisuso and does not recognize his lowliness shihilu hoyo yochel lirois if he would properly see v'hoyo makir emes and if he would recognize the truth he would remove and misrachik and distance himself from Mikola Drachim Aroim from all these ways, evil ways, I'm mm -hmm. call them destructive, this is a great distance. Okay, and that's it, that's the end. The Oidin says we'll speak about this when we get to Anov. Right? Mm -hmm. So again, so Gaiva is Ivorin Ma. Mm -hmm. Right? So what it seems to be saying. So if, again, if we take on that, maybe can forget, like, forget Ramak, that, you know, Anova takes you, you know, straight to the to Kesser, mm -hmm. whatever the case may be, maybe Anova is lack of Gaiva. Because, but presence of Gaiva is Ibar and Mamash, is, is mm -hmm. pure blindness, right? Again, Going back to this, this is Mesilas Yisharim, right? This is a safer Mesilas Yisharim where, where it's you can't be. What's the word? You cannot get close to Hashem if you are not Yosher, if you are not straight. Mm -hmm. And Gaiva is, is takes you away from that. Simple, right? Because Gaiva is you, and if it's you, then it's not God. If it's not, you know, and if you want to come close to God, you can't. You can't have Gaiva, right? As he says again, if we're going back to, we're going to back to uh, even uh, our, you know, the first chapter where he talks about He has this line. Uh,
Right, he says, "Vehine isoma Hakadosh Baruch Hu lo adam amokam shurabim boy hamarchik nimo isomi mena is Baruch." Hashem put a person into this world where there are many things that distance him from from him, right? Distance mm-hmm. a person from him. So, right? So, that's also just another point that the, is the the world is not neutral, right? The world is constantly dragging you away, right? Amarchikim, right? There are things here that are amarchikim from from Hashem. These are Taivis Achomriers, right? And uh, right, and he says you're basically so. So you know, in a certain sense, the main avoida is to distance yourself from the things that distance you. He says this somewhere exactly that language here. When um, Israchik, right? In accordance to the measure that he c- conquered his Yitzer and his desires, and distance himself from those things that distance him from God, mm-hmm. right? From, from good, and he puts an effort to connect to God, then he will be Zoycha to this Orachaim, the, the mm. living light, the light. Um, right? So, again, so in a certain sense, the avoida, or at least the main chunk of avoida, is just removing yourself from the Marchikim. Of this world, so Gaiva is your primary marchi, your primary distancer. Mm-hmm. So you break through the Gaiva, you come closer to God, right? As opposed to a Nova, and again, that's that's the that's the focus. That seems seems to me the being the focus. The focus is not so much like he's saying, "Oh, you're going to be an Anov, you're going to have Savlanus, <laughs> people beat you up." Let let. Mm-hmm. Let people do things to you, and you're going to be patient and loving no matter what, and you'll be zoicher to midas akenso, right? He seems to be saying, no, you, gaiva is ivar and mamash, gaiva is blindness. Break through the blindness, and you'll see the truth. And you'll see the truth, and you're going to be distanced from the, those things that distance you, because blindness distances you. It sounds like they're walking. <coughs> 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 And they're walking towards each other from just from different directions. Right, could be, could be, could be. But again, just, just that's what it, again, that's what the focus seems to be mm-hmm. on. Again, do I perfectly understand that Gaiva is Ivora in Mamish? I don't. Meaning, do I understand that really bad, vulgar Bali Gaiva? Right. right. We're talking about Ivor and Mamish? Now, yes, I do understand that perfectly. Right, right. Do I understand? That like this example in the art school brings the, over here the, the, an example here. Um, where is it? it? Brings the story from the Chofetz Chaim. Where am I? Where is this? Um, four forty eight. What? Four forty eight. Four forty eight. Yeah, right? They bring the story. It is reported that the Chafetz Chaim son of Leib once overheard his saintly father standing in the corner of a darkened room and speaking to his creator. And he said, let us make a reckoning of what you have done for me and what I have done for you in return. You, Hashem, have given me the merit to compose numerous sforim, including the Chafetz Chaim, Mishnah Bura, Havetz Chesed, etc., etc. He listed his sforim. Mm-hmm. I, on the other hand, have done absolutely nothing for you. Please grant me the merit to accomplish something for you. Okay? A beautiful mm-hmm. story. It sounds very from. Do I think, do I say, is Chofetz Chaim being truthful there? I would say, it's very, you know, it's it's nice, beautiful gesture, but I wouldn't, 
Meaning that's not reality. And Chovetz Chaim's, you know, worked his whole life, and he, you know, for those farm, and he sacrificed, and he wrote those farm. You know, right, you is that that's he, who's seeing the truth? Me seeing the truth that Chovetz Chaim, great job, Yeshikoyach, or what's the word? Or Chovetz Chaim is really seeing the truth that I didn't do anything. Hashem did it all. Which one is Ivor Roin Mamish? You know. But maybe that's a, that's a proper way of davening. Yeah. Right, so you could say again. No, I was saying, like, like let's say, that this person sick, and people down, so I send him reform because oh, he did so much for community, everything. So he may get reform, but he's going to use that his husband. But if you down, to send him reform so he can raise kids and that, like for future stuff, then he again, gets so reform it's without, from, without, it's without. From, it's from Kai. So this way, like, he is asking for something without using his merits. So that's okay. It's, Again, a cla it's classical. This is like very from type of Torah that Ramchal to me <laughs> doesn't subscribe. To. Right. I know, but uh, that's you know, in, in Ramchal's world, in my 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 picture of the Ramchal's world, it's all calculus. You know, everything is logic. Mm -hmm. Everything makes sense. Everything is yeah. like reasonable. Exactly. Nothing is just. Let me put on a show for Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Like you know, let sure. me say it, it in it, a it, way that's gonna be sound nicer. Okay, it's I either know, it's not saying you're just asking without using your schusim. Again, I'm just using your schusim business wise. Right? If I'm using my schusim, that means it's wrong. Uh, so what's wrong? Well, otherwise, why am I using my schusim? Well, it's not smart, but what's wrong? <laughs> like. Anyway, so okay, so again, these are just I think important um, drill downs, uh, again, different perspectives on you know these ideas. Okay, we're not in this par parsha. Anyways, it's not like like he's gonna say, it. but again, just something <laughs> to think about. Okay, let's let's keep now. Let's go back to the te text. Um, so where should we start? I gotta know. Should we start again? I don't know. Let's start again. For Hine Hachoch Mahiyam Avia Yoiser as a Odom Lude. You see that? Hine Hachoch. It's almost close to the beginning, like a few pair, like a few paragraphs. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah. Let me try to move. Oh, in the chokhmah. Yeah. So here, chokhmah here, maybe a yoyser is not only the his nasus the gaiva. Here, so wisdom is the thing that brings a person most to gaiva, to raising himself up over others. Lefishikvar he mila shabodim atzma bechelak anichbat shuloi, because this is a mila that's in, internal, and that's you know his essential mila of a human being, which is the part of which is the hainah seichel, which is the seichel. But first, you have to understand there is no chokhm that doesn't make a mistake. There's also no chokhm that doesn't learn, doesn't have to learn from somebody else. <laughs> and often, even from the from the words of his students. So how could he possibly have raised himself with his wisdom? Oh, I'm so smart, yeah. right? So again, do we understand? Right. I mean, technically, everything that we we know came from some place. Yeah. Right. We didn't magically discover it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's true. We got some information. We may have put two and two together and developed some new information. But most of the, our our chachma came from some other source. So we read something. Now we feel oh, we feel like all smart. You know. Mm -hmm. Right, it's it's. I mean, like I have students, you know, they they uh, you know. I t told I told them something, they learned it. Then uh, somebody else came up with a similar question. Discussion came up, and they just literally five minutes ago they heard it. <laughs> like what? You don't even know. Like where's you know, like <laughs> like we kids have a tendency to do that. Like how can you not know? You know this. You know. Mm -hmm. But but I mean that's really all we are. Like everything we we got is from some place. Hmm. But yet we walk around and saying, you know, Dirievna. You know, anyways, moving on. Um, right? So, um, 
<clears throat> so, Eiches Nasi V'chachmos. How can he raise himself over, over others with this wisdom? V'amna Mishu Bal Seichel Yosher. Right? Um, so, how, somebody who is a Bal Seichel Yosher. Again, this is, I'm just noticing now, right? This word Yosher comes up more, more times in Mesil HaShashon than I ever really paid attention to. He uses this expression a few times. Bal Seichel Yosher. Right, somebody who has, a, right? So again, it kind of now, you know, before I was saying, you know, Mr. Lissi because that's like, like, hey, you cannot get off the ground without Yashrus. But it's more than like, and I think we did mention this, that yeah, you need Yashrus in every step of the way, because if you don't have Yashrus at every step of the way, way that every new Mida that you acquire, you'll acquire it in a, cro in a crooked way, right? So Mishu Bal Seichel Yosher, somebody who has Seichel that's Yosher, I feel him Zochel Yois Chochem God will move from Emes because she is tackled his boynen when he, if he is even as a great sage, when he further contemplates Yirei Shei Mokum LeGaiva VeIsnasus. There's no place at all for Gaiva. Ki Hinei Mishu Bal Seichel because somebody has Bal Seichel she Yadei Yoisu Meacherim. What does it mean? He knows more than others. Ein Oisel Shu Bechoy Tivur Lasos again. He only does what is. Part of his nature mm -hmm. to do. Ku'oif shmeg bi'elouf. It's like a bird that flies. Lefishu tivar bekach, because that's its nature. Ba'ashar mo'ishach bekoichoi, or a bull, an ox that pulls with his strength. Lefishu chukoi hukein. That's the strength that God gave him. Mishu chokum. And so, therefore, anybody who is wise, who lefishu tivar mevi'el is that? It's because his nature brought him to this. Ve'ilu oisu she'ach shavein and chokum kamoyu. And if there's talking to somebody who's not as smart as him, if that person had the same natural seichel that you do, he's gonna he will become as wise as as you would. guys, there is no reason to elevate yourself. If a person has great wisdom, he should should he's obligated to teach it to other that others that need it. Kumayin Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai. Again, this is like a statement of Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai. Im lamadat the Torah harbe. If you learn a lot of Torah, al tachzik toivel atzmecha. Don't. Uh, what's the word? Don't uh, hold on to its benefit. Right. Whatever that means. That's not. Do not retain the good. Again, what is that for yourself? Yeah. What does it mean? Don't claim. Don't claim uh, victory, so to speak. Uh, because for that, this is why you were created. Okay, so okay, so again, let's just come. I, mean, I know what he's going to say ahead, but I'm going to ask a question. This al tachzik toivel atzmacha, right? Grabbing uh, again, I don't have to translate this in normal English. Al tachzik toivel atzmacha means mm. don't. <laughs> the word again? Don't claim a victory. I don't know how to. Right? That's what it means. Mm. It means don't. Give yourself credit. There you go. Don't give yourself, don't take credit for it. Right? Don't take credit for it. Right? Don't take credit for it. it right? So, credit taking. Is that gaiva? Is that the same thing? Credit taking. Credit. Meaning, if I take credit for something that I have, yeah, okay. is that the same thing as gaiva? Or this gaiva? Because until now, he was saying his nasus, raising yourself over somebody. There's that's not that's necessarily the same thing, right? I can take, I can, I can um, take credit for something. And realize, wow, wow, I'm a really good basketball player, mm -hmm. right? That doesn't mean I have to go and elevate myself over somebody else. Or how can you take credit and not elevate yourself? Meaning, by definition, I'm saying I'm a great basketball player. It means relative to who? Relative to Joe Schmo, who's not such a good basketball player, right? Okay, so that's a question. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So that's chachma im asher who. So if a person is wealthy, he has to be happy with his lot. He has to help others who doesn't have. If he has power, he has to help the weaker ones and protect them from their uh, tormentors. And again, all of this is what is the similar to to servants of the house, she called Echad Mimuna Al Dvarma. Each person is appointed over some task. And he has to do his uh, his job according to his appointment. 
lahashlim aleches habayis u'tzurcheva, so that the all of the works of the house are completed. The ain b'kan mokum legaiva l'fiyah emes, and really again there is no point of of in gaiva l'fiyah emes. Why not? Because every person has his role and has his place, has his tafkid. Again, this is this is the proper iyun in contemplation that is appropriate for any man who has a seichel that's yosher. not bent. When a person really clarifies this, then he will be called a true onov. Because at that point he's going to be in his heart and in his innards. Again, I don't know what the difference between uh, Liboy and Kirboy, but he somehow stresses two two layers. You know, you should believe boy will be Kirboy. Sounds like it almost like it's like visceral. It's like it's like it's not only in believe boy in his, which you, I'm assuming he means his mind, but it's almost it's a Kirboy. It's in his flesh, right? You can be on of in the flesh. And this is what David said to Michal, that I was lowly in my eyes. How great are the lowly of Ruach, of spirit. The time when the Beis Amidash was, was around, or the Makriv Oila, when a person would bring an Oila, Schar Oila Biyodai, the Schar of Oil in his hand, Mincha, we brought a mincha, schar mincha biyodei. I will mish daitish follow But if somebody whose das, whose mind is lowly <laughs> on him, myla lova kosov ki ilu hikir kolak karbona is kulam. The Torah um, kind of credits him as if he brought all of karbonis together. Shneamar, as it says, zivche elokim ruach nishbara. The sacrifices, plural of God, is a broken spirit. Right, so a broken spirit is is like all, worth all the sacrifices. Okay, hareze shevach shal nemuchi ruach. This is the praise of the lowly of spirit. Sheheim anovim belibum umachshavtam, because they are uh, humble in their heart and in their thoughts. Again, okay, over here, libum and machshavtam are different things. I'm not sure. Before I thought Libo and Machshaftum was synonymous and Kirboy was something else. Over here, it's Libo and Machshaftum are two separate things, which is strange. Okay, but over here, the problem is um, <clears throat> the problem is what? The problem here is that there seems to be something very positive about Anova, right? If if we equate Nemuche uh, Ruach or what he calls Shedaito Shvolo Olov, that his mind is low over him, right? Meaning real Anova, that's internal Anova, right? It's equivalent of all the Karbonis in the world. That sounds like not just, it's like of Gaiva, it sounds like it's it's positive. You credit it with bringing all Karbonis. Meaning it's more than that. Again, maybe I'm just picking, picking too much at it because at the end of the day, if we look at Avoid the Hashem, like he says, like that line in the beginning where he says it's to, to distance yourself from all the things that distance you. So if you remove yourself from Gaiva, so you are Zoyche to closeness to Akadosh Baruch Hu, which is equivalent to all the Karbanis. So I guess, you know, that's not such a question. Okay, moving on. V'chein Omru. Oh, and further, our sages said, not because you are greatest among the nations. Hashem says to Israel, Bonai, my sons, my children, I yearn for you. For even when I bless you with greatness, you minimize yourself. Uh, and you humble yourselves before me. Nasatik dula Avraham. For example, I gave gedula to Avraham, Omar, and Reche of Avraham. I am nothing but dust and ashes. Nasatik dula Moishu Aaron. I gave gedula greatness to Moishu and Aaron. Omru. They said, "Venachnuma, what are we? 
Right, Nasati Gdulu the David, I gave Gdulu the David the Melech, Omar Banoichi to Elas, Laish, I am but a worm and not a man. Call Ze, so the, so again, specifically, it's the contrast, right? When you give a person a high stature, and instead of feeding off that stature, just the opposite, that stature kind of for, causes him to become even more humble, right? Call Ze, Mimashi, Eina Leva, Yosher. Again, we're coming back. This is all something that she ain't halev hayosher, a straight heart. Maniach atzmanli his patois, right? It does not allow himself to be uh, his patois, to be um, convinced, not convinced, um, persuaded. Okay, persuaded. Leis patois mishum ma'ila asher ivo ehu biyodoi be'emas shikvar lo mipnezei yotzim deshif musay. Right, it, the, 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 a, a Lev Yosher does not allow himself, as a result of any Mila that he has, that it should bring him um, outside of his shiflus. Right. So again, so le, so it's again very clear in the Ramchal that n- anything but shiflus, right, anything but lowliness is not Yashrus. Right. Yashrus means shiflus. Right? Why? It says, Mitzad ha chisroinus ha As if because there are so many other chisroinus, she efshe shloi yuboi. That it's impossible that are not part of him. V'oid, and furthermore, V'efshe afilu b'oisoi ha mitzvah is atzmom, she hisig. And even within those mitzvahs themselves that he did reach, he certainly did not reach the ultimate madrega. The ultimate madrega. So, no matter what you did, you'll have many chesorinas that you that will will embarrass you. And even the thing that you did, there is always there's always more to be done. Okay. Well, again, he didn't say. What he didn't say, what he maybe. It was Pasha, maybe again yeah, in the in the in the in the Gemara that he brought, the emphasis was clear. Nasati Gdula, I gave Gdula to Avraham, and he said right? So the, the, he said that point before that at the end of the day, it's all God's blessings. So what are you raising yourself for? You have Chachma because God gave you Chachma, you have strength because God gave you strength. You have greatness, Nasati Gdula Avraham. Mm-hmm. So Avraham recognized the gedula that Hashem gave him, so his result says Anoichi of Avraham. So the key factor, maybe I would have said, is not because Avraham saw his other chesroinus, and not because Avraham saw that he did not reach the ultimate perfection of the things that he already did. He should have said Avraham saw that at the end of the day it was Nasati. Hashem gave it to, mm-hmm. to him, right? The um, oid. Okay, this is the very difficult paragraph to understand. Furthermore, if there would be no other chisorin in a person, the fact that he is flesh and blood, born of a woman, that's enough, and even with extras, that to, to be... To be to be I don't know lowly and um, inferior, actually that they should be inappropriate for him at all. He no say cloud to be raised at all to be raised to, to rate meaning. Okay, so that's a question. I mean, because a person is flesh and blood, that is that in the, in the, in his essence make him look. I mean, okay. Again, we're talking about Yashrus, right? Emes. What's the true picture? Okay, Hashem created me flesh and blood. Okay, that's the true picture. Mm-hmm. That <laughs> demands loneliness. That demands loneliness? I mean, I don't know. Okay, I mean, a lion is still a lion. And, you know, and he's not uh, a snake. I mean, or a fox. I mean, I don't know. So... I mean, I mean, I mean. We understand that, okay. So, flesh and blood means means limited, means physical. But it sounds like again, Yiludisha. What's born of a woman? 
I mean, what was that? I mean, it's maybe just poetry, but but why you know why bring that in? Um. Okay. Well, uh, oh, well, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, people got creation. Yeah, got creation, but he's born from a woman. So, yeah. meaning you're not other Marisha. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You just how often we uh, use the term? You just oh, we God's creation, we children of Hashem. So once in a while, I need to remind her, but you were born from a woman. Right. So as long as you remember it, it's fine. <laughs> so it's uh, right. Okay. Fine. Um call Myla Shehumasik says because any Myla, any greatness that he is able to accomplish, Eina El Chesed El Elov. It's it's nothing but Hashem's kindness on him. Right? This is what really Okay, maybe there's just a continuation. Um Shiroitzi Lochoin Oisoi because Hashem wanted to kind of bestow it upon him. That despite that he, from his nature, he's lowly, v'nivze, and really disgusting, ad completely, al but it's, it's pure chesed. It's pure chesed from Hashem that Hashem gave you any anything whatsoever. You are nothing but this, uh, you know, blob of flesh and blood, and Hashem bestowed you with some with some milus, you know. So that's what you have to, yeah, that's the picture that you need to see. al ein lo ela So the only thing you could do is, Thank Hashem for 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 the fact that He graciously bestowed this upon you. Upon you, and more and more lower Himself. What is this similar to? And this may be the key issue. A poor, impoverished person that he receives a gift. It's impossible that he's not going to be embarrassed. This is the key point. That in that instance, when a person is poor and completely dependent on somebody else, the greater the gift that he gets, right? Kol the greater the gift that he gets, sheikabel they received. Kol ki kach so too will increase the the bashfulness, the embarrassment that he will be embarrassed, right? If if somebody gives me something. I feel uncom- un- un- uncomfortable. So the more somebody gives me, the more uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. The more somebody gives me. So, so I, I'm the smartest guy on this planet. Yeah, that's because the Kodesh Baruch gave you the greatest gift on this planet. Mm-hmm. So you should so you should have more more humility, right? Because you should be more embarrassed by the fact that Kodesh Baruch gave you this extra gift, right? Which explains why Moshe Rabbeinu was on of Nikolodim, because he he saw that. He saw that gift. Again, so that's then Chafetz Chaim's vision is closer, maybe it comes into focus, maybe a little better. Again, do I feel it in my Kirboy? Probably not. Do I start seeing it conceptually? Maybe a little bit. Um, right, but maybe the, but that's the key line. Because if everything is from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, so the greater the chesed, the greater the stuff that you got, you got money? Wow, amazing. You got wisdom? Wow, amazing. Baruch Hu. Any, any, anything that you get, the greater the realize that it's from not from you. So similarly, here, any person whose eyes are open, right? Again, this is the opposite of Ivora and Mamish, that the guy wears blindness, right? If you have Ain of Kuchos, if your eyes are open, Leroy says, Atzma, to see yourself, that you, you get Milo's Toivis from Akadosh Baruchu. It's all from Akash Baruch. Okay, Inyan Shomer David Amalech, Ma Ashiv La Hashem. What can I return to Hashem? Kol Tegmuloi Hialoi on all that He bestowed upon me. Okay, so that's a, the appreciation that a person has to have instead of his nasus. Ukvara Inu Chasidim Gedolim. Further, we have seen many great Chasidim Shneanshu that were punished Al Shehechziku Toivel Atzmon, and by as a result of them. Taking credit for themselves, right? In Kol Chasidusim, this is despite their great Chasidus, their great accomplishment. Nechemia ben Chachlai, Achalia, right? So one example is Nechemia ben Achalia. Omru Zechrayim Lebracha Mipnei Malo Nikra Sifra El Shmoi. How come Ezra and Nechemia used to be one safer Ezra? Sometimes it's one safer, sometimes it's two swarm. But Chazal here 
assume that it's one safer called Ezra, even though it's really two sefer and one is called Ezra, the other one is called Nehemia. Um, why is it called Why Mipnei Ma'al and Nikrash Sefer Al Shmuel? How come there is no Sefer Nehemia? Mipnei Shehechzik Toi Bala because he took credit for what he did. Right? So over there he says some line in Sefer Nehemia. Bring it over here. Uh, he, he calls upon Hashem to remember his good deeds and count him to his credit. Okay? So in, in Tupsukim 5.19 and 13.31, he says uh, Hashem should remember what he did. Right? Uh, so because he Hashem he asked Hashem to remember what he did, Hashem basically says, I will forget you. Right? Meaning I will have your safer be appended to Ezra's safer. So to Chizkia, Omar Hine Lusholom Marli Mar. Right, this is when Chizkia was 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 his prophet, his prophet Yishayo told him he's gonna die, and he started davening. He says, Hashem, please answer me in my schus. Right, um, he said, please answer me in my schus and all the things that I've done. And uh, Kodesh Baruch Hu responded to him, I'm going to save you, Limani, for my sake, and for the sake of David, my servant, not for your sake. You asked to be saved for your sake. Um, Hashem responded to him, I'm going to save you for my sake and for my, my right? Okay. So the Gemara Baruch over there says that... We, Principle is kol atoyle b'schus atzmai. Somebody who uh, connects, you know, makes it dependent on his own schus. Toyle le b'schus acherim. They connect it to the schus of others. Hayrei lecho. So we see from here again. This is now from Chal speaking. She ain lo adam afilu lehachzik toyve le atzmai l tevois. That a person even even shouldn't. Um, what's the word again? Uh, take credit mm-hmm. for. His good milas, his good things, right? So certainly he should not raise himself and elevate himself through them, right? So again, so there's now clearly seemingly there are two steps. There's one step is just evaluate and take credit, and there's another thing is I take credit and then I raise myself mm-hmm. above others. Again, how, again, I'm not so clear how there are these two things. So, but okay, um, let's just get in. let's just um, let's just finish this paragraph because that's the end, last paragraph from Achshava. Then he talks about Maisa. The Amnam calls Zehu Mashiroi Lehashival Liboy Mishiyak Avraham. This is I'm on page four fifty at the top. <coughs> this is all of this thoughts that I'm talking about is for somebody who's like Abraham, Moshe, like Moshe, Aaron, David, Ushara Hasidim Shuzaharna, and other Hasidim that we mentioned, Avalan Achnu, but for us, Yisoyme Yisoyme, we are orphaned of orphans of orphans. Ain on Tsrichimakalze, we don't need any of this. Kikvar Yeshu Yeshu Tono Hisroinis Rabbis, we are we we have enough of our own chesroinus, many chesroinus, shein tzorich iun godol, we don't need great contemplation and analysis, liroiz p'chisuseinu, to recognize our lowliness. V'kol chachmaseinu k'ayin achshavas, and all our great wisdom is like nothing. Ki hayoi s'chacham godol shebeineinu, oh, our greatest sage among us, eina ki mitalmide atalmidim asher b'dayri s'yishonim, is nothing but a student of students in the earlier generations. V'zeh ma shiroi shenovin b'neida b'emes, this is something we need to understand and to know in truth. And not to kind of stoke our hearts for nothing. Um, yeah. Uh, we should recognize that our das is kal, is, is, is flighty, flaky. And our seichel is weak, admoi, very much. Stupidity is common by us, and error is very strong. Um, and, this, and anything that we do know, is only little of little. So therefore, 
If so, there's no, it's not appropriate for us to be to raise ourselves at all. Where we should only be bashful and lowly. And that is simple. Okay, that is all.